Then I had an after party and the dog decided to hump my leg during the after party. We had her fixed. It, it only sped up the humping. She'll just run around, put all the pillows off the sofa, to, like knock over things. I don't know, she's really fun. For some reason, like I just saw her and I feel like we had an immediate connection. Come on. Oh, yeah, I got that thing on me. I'm Lonnie Walker from the San Antonio Spurs. I'm based out in San Antonio, Texas. And um, these are my two dogs. Zola, as you can see, um, showing me all the affection in the world. And to the right of me, we got Bishop. Bishop just comes, it was, it was a natural name. I was looking for a name that just represents a big dog. When we got him, he couldn't even fit on my forearm as a baby. You know, we had to keep on switching arms because he was so heavy. Um, and Zola, you know, my girl, she got her. My girl's from Ghana. So we were looking for some, some African queen names for her and Zola was the perfect fit. Growing up, uh, my friends had a couple dogs. You know, I'm kind of an introvert at heart, so m more so dogs are just my best friend. They keep me calm, they keep me sane, they really make me happy more than a lot of things in this world. So um, I knew first thing, once I had my own house and everything, I was like, you know what, it's time to get a dog. That's where it all began. One thing I learned about having pets is just patience, patience and love. You know, these dogs, they have an unwarranted love for you. You know, actions speak louder than words and their actions every single day show us how much they care and love for you. You know, you can have a very long day at work or just not feeling good that specific day and they can sense it. They'll run to you, they'll jump on you, they'll lick you all day. That's just what I love. You know, I come home sometimes not feeling myself and they'll pull up and they pick my, my energy right back up. If she could describe me, she would probably say best friends forever. Um, I love my dad, uh, high energy. He disciplines me a lot, you know, always yelling at me, making sure that I'm doing the right thing. And him, he just think that we the coolest friends in the world. We're twins, you know, me and him have the same exact birthday. He gets so mad if you don't give him a treat on time. Nope, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> you, gonna, you gonna bark at me? Ooh. Ooh. Ready? Paw. Good girl. Other paw. Good girl. Lay down. Good girl. Up. There you go. Uh-uh, not you. Good girl, there you go. Sit. Good boy. Speak. 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 One more time. Speak. I ain't gonna give it to you. He's like, all right, all right. Good boy. There you go. Come on. Come on, Zola. Let's go. Damn. Ooh. Smooth. Let's go outside. Stay, stay. Go get it. Good girl. They go out here and they run for hours, for hours. They run, they swim, they jump over things. There's sometimes squirrels that run around. They chase the squirrels. They live for these moments. Let me get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she'll open the door. And she'll jump in the pool at two in the morning and come back and try and lay down with you. Oh man, it's the worst. Let's go. Being at the bubble was for sure a different experience. I sure as heck missed them so much. Every single day I was asking my best friend and people to just send me pictures every day of my dogs. How are they? How are they feeling? How are they acting? Send me videos. So I do have a bit of a huge attachment with my dogs, but um, it was one of those situations of feeling like you were back at camp, basketball camp with top talent players and you're showing your talents off. So the whole like, overall experience was an amazing experience, but yet different. Being coached by Coach Pop is by far one of the most intriguing things in the world. He knows everything. His split decision making is one of one. You know, he knows what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Um, some people sometimes may question it, but he's the greatest coach for a reason. And it's because he makes those type of decisions. You know, after games, if we lost, you know, he's letting us know the bigger picture of life, you know, that you guys are so fortunate and so grateful to, to play basketball, keep our minds going about the world and how everything is, is shaped to be. 
Yeah, they live for these moments, man. They know we about to go for a walk. He acts like he likes to go for a walk, but he don't like taking no more than like 50 steps and then he'll lay down and pass out. Ooh, yeah, boy. All the neighbors know Zola. They even even brought her treats multiple times. They ask about her every day. Whenever we go on trails, I let her loose and she'll disappear on me sometimes for 10, 12 minutes, but she always finds her way back. Very well-trained dog. When she was younger, we went to Miami before and uh, we were in the ocean, we were on the boat. She was still small. She seen me and my girl jump off the boat and she jumped off with us. She's this small, she jumped off. Her first time ever swimming was actually in the ocean and we didn't even have to train her. She jumped in by herself and was just paddling. Hey, let's go, we out, we out. Let's go, Zola. <laughs> Pick up your ball, we're going inside. I've been around dogs pretty much all my life, so it's really not that hard to teach them. My best friend has taught them, my girl has te taught them things, so it wasn't just me, it was an overall effort. Now they're just, they know, they know the difference between good and bad. Um, sometimes they make their mistakes, but even humans make mistakes, so you just gotta live with it. <laughs> you gonna sleep good tonight. Boy, you gonna sleep good tonight. I'm Lonnie Walker, thank you guys for coming and you know, seeing what my two dogs, Bishop and Zola, can do. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace. Coming up next. Paddle boarding as usual, and we were coming back in, but the tide changes and the waves were getting bigger and bigger. Oh my gosh. There was a wave coming, but it was so big. I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get wrecked. I feel like frolic. Like I've never seen a dog do that. I think it's because she just gets so excited. What's up guys? I'm Lizzie Capri and this is Millie. I'm a YouTuber. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I make really fun content um, doing challenges and pranks and welcome to Meet the Pets. Millie plays a huge role in my life. She's in a lot of my videos. I literally do everything with her. I take her everywhere with me. We'll go on road trips together. I take her to the beach. We just do everything together, don't we, Millie? I actually filmed one of my very first videos on my channel where I found her at a pet store in Brooklyn and I really wanted to get a puppy for the longest time, like my very own puppy. So I went to a bunch of different pet stores and the very last store we went to, it was like about to close. We ran in there and I was like, oh my gosh, she's the one. And actually Carter was like, you should sleep on it. Make sure you're super ready, committed. So I slept on it and then when I woke up, the first thing I did was run to the pet store for some reason, like I just saw her and I feel like we had an immediate connection. She's really smart. So she knows like that, like I'm her owner and she loves to cuddle with me. Like she knows if I'm feeling sad and yeah, I just love at first sight. Do you want to show me your tricks? Come here, look. Millie, sit. Good girl. Down. Roll over. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> Millie. Oh, that's a high five, Mill. Sit. Down. Roll over. Oh, good girl. Um, I taught her how to play the piano. Good girl. <laughs> I'm this one. She doesn't know how to like play a song yet. Good girl. So as you guys know, I take Millie everywhere with me. We went out paddle boarding as usual and we were coming back in, but the tide changes and the waves were getting bigger and bigger. Oh my gosh. There was a wave coming, but it was so big. I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get wrecked. Like all these people were like on the beach watching us because Millie's like up there like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And my friends, like she fell off the paddle board and I'm like off on the backside trying to push it, but it's hard for me to push. And I'm just like, grab Millie, grab Millie to my friend. And she's like, huh, what? I'm like, grab her, grab her. 
and she grabs her at the very last minute. The wave crashes onto the paddleboard. I get tumbled. The paddleboard gets tumbled. Millie's just like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? And everyone like on the beach, they're just like cheering because we got her out safely. I mean, it was scary for me like as her mom, but probably for her, it was the scariest. This is the Team Mar tennis court, but we've actually never used it for tennis. We have the basketball court like all painted and set up. And then this area, we kind of ride go-karts in. Good job, Mills. And she probably said like bacon. <laughs> you know, like give me some food, like steak. <laughs> I love to cuddle, so she loves to cuddle. I think that's her favorite thing to do together. I hope that she likes my personality, but you know, who knows? She cuddles with everyone, so it's hard to say. So Team RAR is a collective of creators. Carter's the founder, I'm the co-founder, and we weren't really a group, but we always knew we wanted to create something bigger than ourselves. So we created this team of kind of like-minded individuals where we get to create content together and have fun. This is the Team Mar pool. <laughs> There's currently a sunken Lego ship. We actually come out here to give Millie swim lessons. So she knows to swim from the deep end to the shallow end and use the stairs to come out. Ready? Good girl. <laughs> Millie, stop drinking the pool water. Millie is a parkour dog, so now she's gonna actually show us her skills. She's either gonna jump in the water and swim, or she's gonna try to jump from there to here. <gasps> Come on! Come here, Millie! <laughs> Come on, you can do it! You can do it! I believe in you! Oh, I have an idea. Make this a little easier for her. Girl. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good job. Oh, jeez, no. <laughs> no. You want a treat? She's like, all I care about is food. Thank you guys so much for watching Meet the Pets. I'm so glad you guys got to meet Millie and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Coming up next. We always try to like get her in the water or like put her in the pool or something. She literally just like went over there and started uh, just swimming. And we were like, what? So she's just been jumping in the water and I don't know, she loves it. The first day we went to the makeup trailer with her and Chrissy met, uh, she plays Big Kate. She was just sitting in the chair and she was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Hey, I'm Parker Bates. I'm an actor. You might know me from This Is Us. I play young Kevin and this is my dog, Archie. Welcome to Meet the Pets. Just sit down. We got her about two and a half years ago, probably. So we had a dog that we kind of just grew up with and he passed away about four years ago, maybe three years ago. And then we were just ready to get another dog. <laughs> we were looking around and we found her and she's a great addition to our family. Archie's very friendly. Uh, she has her like hyper moments and she likes to play. Then she has her like nice, like sleepy, cuddly moments. And then she like has her complete just weird moments. Like she'll just run around, put all the pillows off the sofa. She'll like knock over things. I don't know, she's really fun. We actually thought she was a boy when we adopted her, but we brought her home and it took us like two days to realize that she was a girl because we've never had a girl dog before. But now I can't imagine having a boy dog instead of her. But we had kind of already had a name picked out from Riverdale. My mom like binge watched it in like three nights and then she was like, I love this movie. And not movie, show. But she also read the comics whenever she was little. I actually just started watching it like two weeks ago and it's I'm on season two and it's so good. Don't get sassy with me. This is Archie's pet challenge. Alright, first one we have Dance. No, up. Oh, dance. Go, go. Okay. Right. Sit, sit. 
No, 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 no. Sit. Lay down. Good girl. Shake. Nice to meet you. Good girl. So I did a movie called Magic Max. They needed a dog because I get a dog at the end of the movie. So we just got her like maybe five months before that. So they asked her to be in it. And so she was my movie puppy. Whenever she was little, we actually got to bring her to set. And the first day we went to the makeup trailer with her and Chrissy met, uh, she plays Big Kate. She was just sitting in the chair and she was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, I think Archie just fell in love with her. She also just got interested in water. Um, we went to Utah and we went to this little like pond. She like never really liked water. Like we take her to the beach and she just play in the sand. But we always try to like get her in the water or like put her in the pool or something. She literally just like went over there and started uh, just swimming. And we were like, what? So she's just been jumping in the water and I don't know, she loves it. She would just probably ask me for more treats. Whenever you say it, her ears just perk up. She's just so excited when she gets them. Do you want another one? Yes. She always likes her treats. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> like I grew up like playing soccer with my friends and whenever I went to school, it was like I knew everyone. I didn't really know a lot of people out here, kind of like left all my friends back in Texas, but we do get to go back like three or four times a year. So that's pretty great because we get to see everyone. It was my first TV show, so it was really nice to get into it and kind of just learn what, like learn the ropes and learn that auditioning is a little bit different from the show because because you get to like experience it and uh, you get to like work with the actors and you like have your props and you know what you're doing. And like if you mess up, it doesn't really matter. So it's just really nice to just learn the ropes. We are both very athletic. He plays football, he played baseball, and I played soccer, baseball, tennis. Me, Lonnie, and McKenzie, uh, we're the little big three and we've just grown so close over the five years. They're some of my best friends. I moved out here from Texas and I didn't really know anyone, but then I booked the show and then we started hanging out, but they're some of my best friends here. Milo and Mandy are great and they really just act like my parents when we're on set. Uh, they're very supportive. They're very caring. So we were in Utah and we were at this condo. We had gone to like the reservoir. We took the dogs and my mom accidentally left one of them in the car. Archie actually started looking for Rico and she was like, where is he? He was just like sniffing around and like barking. So then we finally I like, got what she was talking about. And then we were like, where's Rico? And then like we ran out to the car and be like, Rico, you're in here, oh no. So I think Archie, Archie saved Rico. They love each other. Archie is my sister. She is very, she has a very nice sister, but sometimes she likes to attack me. It's nice having a sister. I think she also likes that I play with her a lot. Like we'll come downstairs after we do some school and we'll just like rough house and I think she likes to play. Just give them lots of attention. They love attention. Just make sure that you have the time to be with your dog because if you don't have the time, then it's kind of not fair to them, you know? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Meet the Pets. It was so much fun. <laughs> See you later. Hi. Coming up next. Penny has a couple of odd quirks. One of them is she steals shoes. If I took my shoes off right now and we looked away for a moment and looked back, the shoes would be gone. She doesn't eat them, just steals them. I don't know why, she's just obsessed with shoes. Are you kidding me? Is this a frisbee? Oh, oh, oh. Go, 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 go! Hey everybody, my name is James Murray. I'm on the TV show Impractical Jokers. Some have called it the greatest show ever made. By some, I mean my mother. This is my adorable puppy, Penny. No one knows me better than her. And you're gonna get to know more about my dog and me in the process. Hang out today on Meet the Pets. So Penny is half Havanese, half Lasso Apso. She is one year old as of a few weeks ago. Uh, she weighs about 300, 350 pounds. Uh, she is a southpaw. She is currently 24 and 0. She's uh, with three uh, TKOs as well. This season, she's batting at 325, and <laughs> those, those are her vital stats. So a year ago, my wife and I bought a house in New Jersey in the suburbs, and when I pulled up to the house to move in, my wife was there in her car, and she opened the door, and she had Penny on her lap. It was my housewarming surprise. 
It was the best surprise ever. When we first got Penny, for the first few months, she was all black, a solid black dog. And then, almost overnight, she turned all gray. It was crazy. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I'm not the disciplinarian in the house at all. My wife is excellent at training Penny. And so I have to, while still being the fun dad, I still have to abide by the house rules such as don't feed the dog at the table, even though I sneak the dog food all the time. I believe we're raising a genius puppy, and I'll prove it to you. My wife, Melissa, does all the training. She's gonna show you some tricks right now. Okay, come on. Come on, go, 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 go. <laughs> go, go. Here, come here. Ready, look. Sit. Sit, good girl. Paw. Paw. Good girl. Down. Good girl, roll over. Let me see, oh, let me see it, come on. Roll over. She gets a little mad when you ask her to roll over. She shows her teeth. She'll never bite, but she shows her teeth and gets angry, right? Roll over. Roll over. If Penny could tweet anything about my wife and I, it would probably be this. Love mom and dad, hashtag blessed. <laughs> Can, does, do dogs hashtag? I've been friends with the guys from Jokers for 30 years, literally since we were children. The guys and I say that we are uh, an 11 year overnight success story. We have tr we tried for years to get on TV. We were big on MySpace, so that should tell you how, how long it took to get on television. And, uh, and then when we got on TV, we had no idea that if the show would work, if people would watch it or not. And then now here we are 10 years later and still, show's still going strong. And we're excited that we're back in production now for Impractical Jokers, it's been a long time. Uh, of course, we have Impractical Jokers dinner party every Thursday night on True TV. Every Tuesday night on TBS, we have The Misery Index, which is a great game show starring the guys and I and Jamila Jamil. And uh, we're working on a bunch of other stuff. We have an animated show we're out developing now. I have new books coming out. Penny and I have a graphic novel coming out soon. I'm going to continue to be married next year. That's exciting for me. <laughs>